going on everyone? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe and today I've got another Think or Swim trading tips video that hopefully resonates to those out there using this platform. I know I have a couple of videos on the channel really helping you use Think or Swim efficiently and really just showing you how I use the platform. I think today is going to be a really valuable video as well. If you could feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We're really working hard on ramping up the content this year, and we're really excited for some of the videos to come. If you have any questions after watching today, feel free to leave a comment down below as well, and I will respond when I can. If we look at Think or Swim here, right, this is the trading platform of choice for me, and this is the platform that I've used while trading in the markets here. And this is gonna be a video that kind of reviews how we can bookmark different buttons and different tools that we're actually using in the platform instead of having to right click on the chart or change the different things up here in the ribbon. So in Thinkorswim, right, if we want to change our time frame, for example, right, we can do that up here from the ribbon where we can go and flip between these different time frames. And we also have the same tool set available for our drawing tools, right? So I have another video on the channel on how to use all of this, but if we wanted to use something like our trend line tool, we can go and switch to that tool up here at the top, and then we can actually use that tool as we want to. But to make this a little bit easier, right, as you can see up here in the ribbon, I actually have those things pinned or bookmarked up here at the top. And these are the My Tools section of Thinkorswim. So if you want to enable this, right, we can come up here to our Settings icon. And then within this General tab, we're going to have an area called My Tools. And this is actually going to be what you want to turn on. I have multiple you know, trading stations available here, multiple screens. And so I've chosen to put this My Tools section on every single chart I have, just because I have multiple monitors here within my trade station. If you wanted to, and you only have one, you're on a laptop or something like that, right? You can also just turn this on for a single panel. It will come off by default. So just make sure that it's one of these two options below if you do want to have what I'm about to show here up at the top. If we click OK there, this is essentially going to add an area up here at the top where we can essentially bookmark those different things we talked through. So maybe drawing tools instead of having to go click all of those things. If I want to switch to my trend line tool, I can just click it once. Switch to my price level, click it once. We can also do the same thing for time frames. So if I want to flip between time frames, now it's just one click versus, you know, multiple clicks up here at the top you got to find it it's really just not as efficient and so that's what's really helpful about this my tools section and we can actually customize it as well so over here on the right yours is probably just going to have some of these drawing tools right away but we can click on the settings icon and this will basically make all of this editable and you can add up to, I think, seven buttons here, and then it'll essentially gray this area out so that you can't, you know, change the ribbon anymore. But in this case, right, we can switch maybe our drawing tools instead if we want to rename it, get rid of the button, or just change the button. Here are the different button types that we can use. So we can have everything from specific studies here, like maybe I want to turn off my moving average at times. I can have those studies here, which is really nice. And then I can have drawing tools and styles as well. Styles are how I did the time frame. So styles are essentially just a saved view of Thinkorswim. You'll see that I've saved views of each time frame that I like. And then I've used this My Tools section up at the top to pin those there. With using this right now, when you open up your screen, if you do hover to kind of the top section of your chart, you will see this My Tools section pinned up here at the top. If you don't, then you can hit this little bookmark or pin icon here, and that'll essentially keep it up at the top left of your screen. So hopefully this really helps. This is something that's made it a lot more efficient to get around in the platform. I do these things all the time, so the multiple clicks can definitely not be as efficient as having these as just buttons on your chart. 
Thanks everybody for joining today and let me know if you have any questions.